I got some hardcore SF for you today. What's up, everybody? Today I got a movie for you that I've been waiting a little bit to see. I've been wanting to see this one. Uh, Europa Report just came out the other day, um, directed by Sebastian Cordero, and it stars Charlotte Copley probably more than, uh, probably less than they would make you <laughs> want to think. But, uh, yeah, he's in a little less. And also has a guy, Michael Nyquist, in it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that 100% right, but he's the guy that played in the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo movies. He's a pretty good actor. I recognize his face. I had to look up who he was uh, after, but yeah. So him and Charlotte Copley are the main guys, and there's this girl named Embeth Davids. I had to look. I had to look. I'm sorry. Yeah, so why I wanted to see it and why I call it Hard SF is basically because it's, you know, a lot of science and less on the fiction. And when I mean fiction, I mean, like, lightsabers and land speeders and stuff like that. This is probably all stuff we could do with the technology we have now. I'm not a scientist. I don't know all that stuff. But if we pushed our limits, I'm sure we could get someone to Europa. Um, if you don't know where Europa, there, if you don't know where Europa is, it's the one of the biggest moons around Jupiter. So Europa Report is pretty basic. It's a found footage film, and it covers the story of what happened to this ship, Europa One. That's why it's called Europa Report. It's like the story after the fact of what happened. Um, and what it is is like a report compiled from footage. So you got your all your cams and your spaceship that look at everything. And basically, the the astronauts are traveling to Europa to discover life or whatever scientific experiments you know they can conduct and gain whatever knowledge they can. It's privately funded, which is kind of cool sci-fi stuff. Um, so what did I like about it? The FX I thought was really good. Um, in little parts, it was kind of looked a little weak, but overall, really great visuals. Um, I like the idea of the you know a lot of science, less fantasy part. And the way they carried it out in this was pretty good. Um, the way Europa looked in the movie was pretty sick. And at the end, for sci-fi fans, you get a pretty cool ending if you stick around this movie till the end. I thought the ending was better than expected. The way the the trajectory of the film and then the ending was a good surprise. I really liked that part. And overall, the acting is kind of hit or miss, and that kind of gets me to what I didn't like. Some of the stuff I, I felt, um, you know, they tried to convey certain emotions and that attempt kind of fell flat. Um, I don't know if it was just, you know, the director not doing enough takes or what. But maybe it was the music, something. But, you know, they didn't get that sense of discovery out of me when I was watching it. And, that, and definitely in a couple scenes, that was uh, what they were going for. It was a little too much exposition. I mean, it's a lot of stuff you would know from watching Discovery Channel. And, of course, if you don't watch Discovery Channel, they have to, you know, explain a lot um, in the movie, which I kind of liked. But at the same time the characters suffer because all we do is get a little blurb about each of them and we hardly learn about any of the characters and a lot of crazy stuff happens to the characters so you know you don't feel as much for them i don't want to give any spoilers but the way they were acting the way they compared to the way perhaps they should have been acting in the situation they're in i don't know just seemed bizarre maybe it's just me what another thing that kind of bugged me about this film is that it just kept bringing up all these memories of other sci-fi films and it, at some points it felt completely unoriginal. Even though everything looked nice and everything, it just felt completely unoriginal. You know, they stole from 2001, Abyss, um, God, what was that other one? Red Planet or one of those other ones like that. I, uh, the scene where Tim Robbins dies. I don't know if that one's Mission to Mars. I think that one's Mission to Mars. Whatever. But yeah, those, at least those three movies got stole from. Um, God knows, you know, if I watch it again, I'm sure I can pick out a few more. It, that kind of bugged me. There was a lot of unoriginality to it, sort of. Overall, I did enjoy the film. Not great, super great sci-fi film, but I really liked its reality basis. Um, and then with the nice, you know, sci-fi punch in there, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to give the film 3.5 overall, uh, 3.5 out of 5. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely worth checking out. If you like sci-fi movies, if you like space stuff, definitely check this out. The special effects are awesome. Um... The story is, you know, basically an amalgamation of all other sci-fi films. All right, guys, tell me what your favorite sci-fi film is down below, or, you know, let me know if you've seen your Roper Report, what you thought of it.